My name is Adriana Varejão. I'm an artist. I live and work in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. I used to go to the cinema and stay there for hours. The average of films that I used to, to watch in a day was two or three films. In that time, I remember that I was connecting myself with the language of the Baroque. It was very important to watch uh, films from Peter Greenway, Derek Jarman, Cronenberg, because they helped me to construct my language in the visual terms. For me, it was a kind of school of art. I think my choice, which connects my choice, is all these films are about fiction. They are very far from reality. It's very clear that uh, fiction plays a very important role in this small selection. They are kind of narratives uh, very related to artificiality, to this idea of um, the cyborg, the, the body construct in a different way. This idea connects these films science fiction to the universe of the Baroque. So Cronenberg in Fly, it was a kind of mutant. You're changing, Seth. Everything about you is changing. Oh no, what's happening to me? Am I dying? These concepts of uh, changing and constructing bodies and this idea very clear that this is fiction, this, this narrative has nothing to do to reality. After so many years of dictatorship in Brazil, 20 years, so the movie industry was totally poor. No? In the late 90s, it began to come back, actually with a very remarkable film named The Carlota Joaquina from Carla Camurati. I decided to mix my, my selection I focus on the films that I watch in the Cinemateca, but I choose two titles from the, this more recent production, Brazilian productions, that I think it's very, they are very interesting. It's Bacurau and uh, Divino Amor. Bacurau is a very, very interesting film. It's about a very small village in the interior of Brazil, in the northeast area. And uh, it connects uh, some very archaic myths and archaic kind of lives, a small society, with the language of the games and uh, how violent and how United States dominates and kills. A gente tá sendo atacado. So these people, they are very technological. There was a group of North American that came to hunt human beings. So the game was to kill human beings. It's very perverse. But in a way, this village could survive. Você quer viver ou morrer? It's very interesting how the technology play a role and how the archive knowledge play another uh, role. So Divine Love uh, of Gabriel Mascaro is a more recent film that talks about the growth of uh, evangelic church in Brazil. This film is a kind of fiction that uh, talks about a near future where religion is in power. A festa mais importante do país não era mais o carnaval. The State of Things is a film that it is in Portugal. It was about the construction of this narrative. It was a narrative in between. It was uh, a kind of state of waiting, which is fantastic. My work uh, is related to Portugal, since Brazil is a, a colony of Portugal. But uh, at that time, I had never been to Portugal yet. It was my first impression of the place. And uh, it, it was uh, very strange because the 
that there was the sea, so they were beyond the sea somewhere, waiting for something. So I tried to select a group of films where uh, the idea of artificiality, edition of time and narrative are constructed. And you can see that the idea of fiction is very clear. Nothing is what it seems to be. So the Baroque has this idea of fool your senses. In this sense, I was talking about uh, my work. Some paintings, they look like tiles, but they are not tiles. They look like meat, but they are not meat. The materials are always hidden. I use polyurethane foam to construct the meat. I use um, plaster that cracks to simulate ceramic. It looks like ceramic, but it doesn't, it's not. In, in this sense of fooling the senses of the spectator, in fiction, everything is allowed. In art, everything is allowed.